Imagine a world where women wore skirts so tight they could barely walk. A world where fashion took precedence over comfort and practicality. That world was the 1910s, and the hobble skirt was its queen. It was a decade defined by rebellion, elegance, and innovation, a fashion decade like no other. Join us as we delve into the captivating history of the hobble skirt and its incredible impact on fashion. The 1910s started with a bang as women began to challenge the norms. After years of restrictive corsets and voluminous dresses, they craved a newfound freedom and individuality. Enter the hobble skirt, a revolutionary piece that became an emblem of rebellion. The hobble skirt is thought to have originated in France in the early 1910s. It is believed to have been inspired by the harem skirts worn by women in the Middle East. The hobble skirt was first popularized by French fashion designer Paul Poirot. Poirot was known for his innovative and daring designs, and the hobble skirt was no exception. These skirts featured a slim silhouette that narrowed down towards the hem, making it nearly impossible for women to take large steps. The skirt was typically made of a lightweight, flowing fabric such as silk or chiffon. It was fitted at the waist and hips, and it narrowed sharply at the ankle. The skirt often had a slit at the back to make it easier for women to walk. It was a groundbreaking departure from the wide, hoop-skirted fashions of the previous decades. The hobble skirt has often been interpreted as a symbol of women's liberation. This is because the skirt was worn at a time when women were beginning to fight for their rights, including the right to vote and to work outside the home. The hobble skirt was also seen as a symbol of female sexuality. The skirt's tight fit and narrow hemline accentuated the wearer's curves. This was a bold and daring statement for women of the time. However, the hobble skirt was also restrictive and impractical. It made it difficult for women to walk and to perform everyday activities. This led some people to criticize the skirt as a symbol of female oppression. Overall, the hobble skirt is a complex and contradictory symbol. It represents both women's liberation and female oppression. It is also a reminder of the ever-changing nature of fashion. The hobble skirt had a significant impact on fashion in the 1910s. It helped to create a more streamlined and modern silhouette for women. The skirt also forced women to adopt a more feminine and graceful way of walking. The hobble skirt was also a controversial fashion trend. Some people believed that it was impractical and even dangerous. Others thought that it was a symbol of women's liberation. The hobble skirt was popularized by a number of top models and cultural icons of the time. These women were known for their beauty, style, and influence. One of the most famous hobble skirt models was Evelyn Nesbitt. Nesbitt was an American model and actress who was known for her scandalous personal life and her beauty. She was often photographed wearing hobble skirts, and she helped to popularize the style in the United States. Warred's models were known for their beauty and elegance. They were often featured in fashion magazines and advertisements wearing his latest designs, including the hobble skirt. Hobble skirts were also worn by a number of cultural icons of the time, including Mata Hari. Mata Hari was a Dutch exotic dancer, courtesan, and spy who was executed by the French government in 1917. Mata Hari was known for her beauty and her daring fashion sense. She often wore hobble skirts, and she helped to popularize the style among the upper class. The Dolly Sisters The Dolly Sisters were a Hungarian-American dance duo who were known for their synchronized dancing and their elaborate costumes. The Dolly Sisters often wore hobble skirts in their performances, and they helped to popularize the style among the general public. Irene Castle Irene Castle was an American dancer and actress who was known for her innovative dancing style and her glamorous fashion sense. Castle often wore hobble skirts in her performances, and she helped to popularize the style among young women. These women were all role models for women of the time, and their influence helped to make the hobble skirt a popular fashion trend. Now it's time to have a glance on a few anecdotes and stories that illustrate how top models and cultural icons influenced the adoption of the hobble skirt. In 1913, Evelyn Nesbitt was photographed wearing a hobble skirt while attending a horse race in New York City. The photograph was published in newspapers and magazines all over the world, and it helped to make the hobble skirt a popular fashion trend. In 1914, the Dolly Sisters performed at the Foley's Burger in Paris wearing hobble skirts. The show was a huge success, and the Dolly Sisters' hobble skirts helped to popularize the style in Europe. In 1915, Irene Castle starred in a film called The Whirl of Life. In the film, Castle wore a variety of fashionable clothing, including hobble skirts. 
The film was a huge success, and Castle's hobble skirts helped to popularize the style among young women. Top models and cultural icons were major in popularizing the hobble skirt. Their influence helped to make the dress a popular fashion trend among women of all social classes. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 had a significant impact on fashion, including the hobble skirt. The war made it necessary for women to adopt more practical clothing. The hobble skirt was also seen as a symbol of frivolity and decadence, which was out of step with the somber mood of the war. As a result, the hobble skirt began to decline in popularity. By the end of the war, it had largely disappeared from fashion. Even though the hobble skirt eventually gave way to new fashion trends, its legacy continues to inspire designers and fashion enthusiasts to this day. The hobble skirt is also a reminder of the ever-changing nature of fashion. It is also a reminder of the power of fashion to shape our perceptions of beauty and femininity. The hobble skirt has made a comeback in recent years. Designers such as Alexander McQueen and Vivian Westwood have incorporated hobble skirt elements into their collections. The modern hobble skirt is often updated with features that make it more comfortable and practical. For example, some hobble skirts have slits or pleats at the hemline to allow for more movement. The modern hobble skirt is also worn in a variety of ways. It can be dressed up or down, depending on the occasion. It can be worn with a blouse and heels for a formal event, or with a t-shirt and sneakers for a casual look. The hobble skirt is a bold and statement-making fashion piece. It is perfect for women who want to stand out from the crowd. The hobble skirt was a short-lived fashion trend, but it had a significant impact on fashion in the 1910s. It helped to create a more streamlined and modern silhouette for women. Despite its impracticality, the hobble skirt was a popular style for several years. It was worn by women of all social classes, and it was featured in fashion magazines and advertisements all over the world. The hobble skirt is a reminder of the ever-changing nature of fashion. It is also a reminder of the power of fashion to shape our perceptions of beauty and femininity. The 1910s were a decade of remarkable transformation in the world of fashion, and the hobble skirt stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of women who are willing to defy convention for the sake of style. As we conclude our journey through this iconic fashion era, we invite you to share your thoughts on the impact of the hobble skirt in the comments below. If you enjoyed this historical fashion voyage, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from the world of style and culture. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, stay stylish!